What's up guys, Dustin McDangle's back here with another video. This is the NHL Be A Pro Series with Dustin McDangle as we get into the rest of this opening playoff series here looking to sweep the Chicago Blackhawks as we actually go away from home to games three and four and hopefully that is all we need to sort of seal the deal here in today's episode in the first round of the playoffs here in 2021 guys if you have been enjoying this series be sure to drop a big old thumbs up on this video if you have been and also if you are not subscribed be sure to do so <clears throat> as we are getting closer and closer to NHL 21 so be sure to be on the lookout <clears throat> for Dustin McDangle in NHL 21 as it looks like there are some awesome things coming up for be a pro in the new NHL but Without further ado here, guys, what we're going to do now is we are going to get into this game here against the Chicago Blackhawks away from home, so let's get it. Sagan in on the faceoff here, looking to win the draw here as we look to sort of back up here. Sagan will find us at the point we're going to take a shot low, far side. We draw the tripping penalty on the play and we nail the puck off the post here as we get an early power play opportunity. Dustin's got to get back into the zone as Niskanen lays the lumber there behind the net. Dustin into the zone here, just watching our point. Kirby Doc finds Chase on, who finds somebody in front. I'm not too sure who that was, but we work it up to Sagan, who finds Ben. Ben's going to take the slap shot on the play. That's saved by the goalie. We went for the hit on Keith and just missed him. So we got to get back into the zone here. Kirby Doc on the puck, working that behind the net. Out front to the defenseman as we get a nice little block there. Dustin off to the races here. Gonna go far side high on the goaltender and Subban able to make the save. Trying to hold off Jonathan Taves. Gonna work this over to the defenseman Haskinen who finds us back. We're gonna work that back up top to Haskinen. He's gonna walk to the middle, find us on the chance as we get a sort of a droopy backhand in on the goaltender and he's able to make the save. Kubalik with the puck into the zone. Working that up to the point. Jonathan Taves finds the point. Keith on the puck. We're going to get a nice hit on him and Jonathan Taves in front of the net, able to find a little opening and the Blackhawks find a way to go up 1-0 here in the second period in game three. Not what you want to see as we were playing some good defense there, tried to get a hit on Keith and Taves able to get away from, I believe that was Klingberg in front of the net and Ben Bishop has no chance at stopping that puck as the Blackhawks take the one goal lead here in the second period the defensive zone as dustin out with the puck gonna take the shot on target and suban is there as keith tried to get that puck out we were able to stop it from going anywhere but taves with the puck is gonna work it out to kubalik who finds nylander nylander trying to skate into the zone dipsy do puck is turned over but we give it away ourselves as the defenseman from the point takes a shot we were able to get a big time block as Oh my goodness, he's able to get the puck back and slide that in to the back of the net for the two-goal lead here. What an amazing block we had on the defenseman who scored the goal, but he's able to work his way in. We're unable to sort of switch off as our defensemen are nowhere to be found in front of the net. And the Blackhawks take the two-goal lead here in the second period as Bishop again is left out to dry. Um, just like you would put your laundry on a clothesline, just left out to dry there in this period right now. We got to find a way to uh, get one back here. As we are in the defensive or the offensive zone, I should say, with 30 seconds left to go on a power play opportunity as Sagan looking to win this draw. He's able to do so. Dustin cuts into the middle and rips an absolute slap bomb upstairs, high glove side on Subban. Cutting the lead in half, what a big time goal that was, as I was going to take a wrist shot with Dustin for the little toey pole shot, but I figured we might as well take a clapper and see if we can beat the goaltender in close, and that is exactly what he was able to do there on the play, as we see the replay here, Sagan with a nice defensive zone win, or offensive zone win I should say, as there's a screen in front of Subban, I was hoping and praying that that puck was not going to get blocked, and thankfully it wasn't, as Dustin lets one rip from the high slot beating Subban, giving us a chance here in game three. Three to one, unfortunately, 13, 16 left to go in this third period as we are hopping onto the ice on the fly. Gotta watch that third man high. Taves is alone in front. 
And Bishop able to make the save there as Keith with the puck now. Tries to find Kubalik up top. And the puck is turned over. Ben Bishop will give us the puck. We'll go far side high on Subban. And we are able to beat him this time finally on our classic toey pull. Upstairs high glove side on the goaltender. No doubt about it. We were able to get that play into the back of the net. Um, and we need to find uh, a way to get our sort of team buzzing here as we are down by one goal right now. Finding a way here that uh, just making the, the game a little bit tighter as we are able to beat him high glove side. He's not able to get his glove up in time. Giving us our second goal of the game. Bringing us one goal closer here against the Blackhawks. Giving us an extended shift the coaches in hope that we can get another goal. And unable to get the puck out. We are running out of time here. As Dumoulin able to keep the puck into the zone. Murphy finds a way, it's, finds a way to the front of the net. But Dustin with the puck. We're buzzing into the zone. The net is pulled. Dustin trying to go upstairs on Subban. Subban plays the puck. And the Blackhawks have a chance. But Dustin with a chance. We're hit off the puck. We're unable to make the play. And that is the game. We end up losing game three. 3-2, three to two, unfortunately, to the Blackhawks as they find a way get, to get back in this series. And we are now officially sort of got to find a way to get uh, a game back in this series as we were number one star of the game. Two goals, zero assists, and eight hits. But let's go ahead and get in to game number four. As Keith not wanting to drop the mitts here, Dustin into the offensive zone. Going to go upstairs on Subban, but is unable to connect. As we got to get back to the defensive zone here. Keith with the puck. He's going to get mauled by Dustin and Brendan sawed off to the races on a breakaway. He scores! What a goal by Brendan Sod! as we are able to get a plus on the play, I believe. We went for the change, but it looks like Dustin is still on the ice as Brendan Sod gets a goal against his former team here. Big time breakaway opportunity as he goes upstairs, blocker side on Subban. Giving us the one goal lead here early in the first period is what you want to see after a bounce back game, uh, after losing to the Blackhawks in the last one. Subban doesn't even move as it is just a quick release that beats him on that play and we are up 1-0 here in this game. We're going to try and cut in on the defenseman and Oli Mata sort of sends us packing as thankfully Dustin isn't injured on the play. Ben into the zone. Finds Sagan. And the Blackhawks... Almost off to the races there. Mata going to move the puck up to Shaw. We get a massive hit on Andrew Shaw as we have a decent opportunity here. Little sort of mini breakaway and we are unable to bury on the play. Our play, I should say. And you never want to sort of squander a chance like that in a big time playoff game as Dustin trying to work his way through. Um, and is unable to get anything going there. We end up losing the puck and we actually have a chance here. Dustin, try not to go off sides. Dustin, oh, I was going to look for Sagan backdoor. We're able to get a nice big hit on the defenseman as we lose the puck there. Sagan finds us in the slot, and Dustin goes top cheese on the goaltender for his first of the game. What an absolute nip that was. Great feed by Sagan as he saw us cutting through to the net, and we just took a one-timer shot on target. What a nice play that was. Absolute top corner on that play. Beating Subban, giving us the three-goal lead. But holy smokes, what a feed by Sagan. As we take that one-timer opportunity right there. And we are able to bury, giving us the three-goal lead here in the second period. Period with a power play goal, putting us up by five. Which would be pretty insane to see. But it uh, looks like the Blackhawks are able to win that faceoff and get out of their zone. Dump it in, and Petrie looking to move the puck up to Dustin. Dustin trying to evade the defender, but just unable to do so. We'll work that over to Petrie, who works the puck into the zone, finds Sagan. Sagan finds us at the point, gets a shot on target, and that's a big save by Subban. So we get a nice little hit on the defenseman here. Strom with a penalty kill goal Abel's is able to sort of get one back. Not what you want to see when you're on the power play, giving up a goal. And obviously that is pretty soft. Um, I don't know why the defensemen are sort of giving him that much space, but Bishop again is beating that low blocker side. Giving the Blackhawks some life here right before the end of the period is not what you want to do. 
Now, especially when you're on the power play, but man, oh man, uh, we're going to have to find a way to come back from that one. Able to win the draw. Jamie Benn's trying to dipsy do between the defense, and he's just unable to do so. As Kirby Dock on the play looking for a penalty kill goal. Back to even strength here. Dustin looks like he was able to get a block shot on the play as Kirby Dock with the puck. Looks for the backdoor, man, and we are just unable to get there as the Blackhawks find a way to get another one here, giving them even more momentum heading into the third period. Jo Joachim Nygaard able to slot that in back door. Our defenseman leaves the front of the net, and we are unable to sort of get down on that as we are watching our point. I saw him at the last minute and just unable to get there in time as he is able to slide that into the back of the net for the sort of second goal for the Blackhawks. And that is some big momentum shift going into the third period. Petrie turns that puck over to Nygaard, the last or one of the goal scorers for the Blackhawks, um, as they are looking to get into the zone here. Puck at the point. Dumoulin takes the shot on target. And Ben able to skate away with the puck. Dustin trying to stay on sides. We're able to corral that puck. We're trying to turn around and give the puck to the defenseman, but just is knocked off the puck. Puck trying to go back door. Murphy in up on the play. Tries to find Nygaard. He almost turns that puck over as they try to go behind the net. Holy! <gasps> Are you kidding me? Tyler Sagan puts the puck into his own net. Are you absolutely kidding me? Oh my goodness. EA does not want us to win this game. We are now only up by one goal because Tyler Sagan decided to score a goal for the Chicago Blackhawks. Look at that. Look at that cheese. Oh my goodness, what an absolute cheese goal that is. And Man, it is now a, holy smokes, 5-4 to four lead here. Looking to hold on. Hopefully the game ends. Please, thank you goodness, 6-4. to four. We're up by 2. Thank goodness the EA gods are on our side here to not hose us uh, with the game sort of coming to a close as Jamie Benn again tries to dipsy do through the zone. Klingberg trying to work that puck through the middle as we get a nice hit in on the play. Goalie is pulled. And Dustin looking for that empty net cheese. I don't think we've scored an empty net in this series yet as Murphy able to block that shot, unable to get that easy cheese goal. And the Blackhawks will dump that puck in. Dustin looking for an opportunity here with the empty net. We're going to go for it. And Dustin able to bury that. For the insurance goal, sealing the deal here in Game 4, giving us the 3-1 series lead. And man, oh man, that was one scary game right there, guys. I'm not going to lie. Holy smokes. I mean, uh, just watching this replay, our first one was blocked. We are able to get a second stab at the empty net, and we are able to slide that in. But that could have been a lot worse. That game was a lot closer than the scoreboard actually has it. 7-4, man, that felt like a... 2-2 two two game the entire way there as uh, they were able to find a way to claw their way back into the game. But thankfully, we're able to seal the deal here. Uh, and Lindell will find us looking for one more goal to pad the stats. But the goaltender is able to come up with a big-time glove save. This last face-off, uh, looking to see if we can just drop the mitts here and sort of send, uh, send a message here in Game 4 heading into Game 5 as Dustin gets a nice shot in on Murphy. Gets another good shot in on Murphy. And sort of going back and forth as we are pretty much even going into sort of tying up here. Murphy holding his own here. Oh no, Dustin goes down. He does a dodge. Murphy does a dodge and he's able to sort of uh, get us to the ice first. And unable to send a message here heading into game five with a big fight victory. But, uh, you know, we will take the, the moral victory with sort of winning the game. But... Man, that's a tough one to do as uh, that will be the game as we will simulate out the rest of this 2.6 seconds here. Walking away with a victory in game four, sort of sealing the deal. And we will go ahead and uh, close out this video. So here we are closing out this video and it looks like we have one training point to sort of add to our list here of things we can possibly add. Uh, for skills, um, honestly, not too sure what I really want to add. I mean, offensive awareness might be okay to have, even though that's already pretty super high. Could use another endurance 
as we are getting close to the end of sort of things that gets us up to a 95 from a 93 that might be something worth investing in as our strength is pretty decent already body checking super high aggressiveness is high fighting skill is pretty high and um, trying to look here to see what we could possibly add stick checking I mean all of that's pretty decently high so honestly what I, I think I'm gonna do is sort of add this to our I don't know if I should do offensive awareness Nah, we're just gonna go with the endurance sort of get that up to 95 which is pretty awesome to see full endurance for Dustin able to recover from that up to an 81 overall two weight forward Dustin is pretty awesome and um, let me take a look here at sort of the season. Um, I want to look and take a look at the points. I'm pretty sure we didn't win anything when it comes to goals um, in the NHL. Uh, I just want to take a look and see who actually won the Rocket Richard Trophy. Um, as I just need to get this filtered. And we've actually, we have won the Maurice Richard Trophy, which is pretty awesome to see by two goals over Tyler Sagan and three goals above Evgeny Malkin. Pretty cool to see that we will be walking out of here with an award this season, but uh, hoping uh, we can sort of close out this playoff series against the um, Chicago Blackhawks. We've done pretty well for ourselves. Six goals, two assists for eight points in four games. Sagan obviously right behind us. And Johansson with three goals playing a big role there, I believe, on the third line um, that he is playing on. And then sort of looking at the playoff tree here, looking to see if any series have been closed out. And it looks like the only one so far in the far right-hand side is the Washington Capitals over the Florida Panthers. 4-0 sweep um, as we look like we're the closest team in the West to sort of close out the series along with the Vegas Golden Knights, but the other two series are at 2-1 apiece, um, as well as the Eastern Conference is pretty close with the Lightning and Montreal Canadiens battling it out um, in that first round, sort of tied 2-2, which is cool to see. will be interesting to see sort of how this playoffs sort of pans out as well, as long as we sort of do well. Uh, it'd be pretty cool to see us in the cup final. Um, but that's going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a thumbs up on this video if you haven't already done so. Uh, but I, I have had so much fun making this series. I know it's getting close to the end, but hopefully we'll be able to close out the series here in the next video and then sort of get into the next one uh, sort of next week or two weeks from now or yeah next week as well um so should be fun moving forward hopefully we can win the cup but that's going to be it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy it and as always stay dusty